as the West New York Board of Ed convened and the public demanded the immediate dismissal of Janet Passante and Alex Locatelli. Board President Cosmo Cirillo is also being forced to step down after a court ruling that says his position as a municipal court reporter is in conflict with his current job. You feel now that, uh, you know, everybody's been, well, these people have been terminated. You know what, I always say justice has been done, and I always say there is a God, because you know what, we got to do what's right for the community, and we have to do what's right for the kids. And you know what, the judge actually ordered them to step down, and that's basically it. And from the beginning, I've been saying, these people are not educators, they didn't care. This was a, a political agenda, they, uh, the prior administration placed these puppets here, for their own purposes and what I'm saying we believe in transparency that's what our commissioners are all about and we're here to do the right thing we're here to take care of our kids and where do you go forward what's on your agenda next my agenda is to have them today step down out of their seats and allow us to place our board members and again our board members are qualified educators not political hacks you know so that's what we're gonna do and if they don't step down then there's the legal recourses but they have to follow the judge's orders and if they don't do that it's gonna be more money spent by the board and I'm gonna tell you so far they have spent twenty five thousand dollars on legal fees and that's absurd how can we spend the money in times of crisis so today I'm gonna to ask him to step down and do the right thing for the town and for our children yeah anybody else want to say anything well I am elated to see this turnout uh, of events that we now have a shot at getting good people on the board, people whose agenda is only the interest of the people, the kids, the education of the kids, and for the parents to rest assured that they're getting educated and that these people have the best interest for them, not as before. You know, these people will not have any personal interest in the matter, but just to do for the kids and to keep them going, to get them out there to college in the end and to be successful and uh, honorable people of the community. And I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you. Hi. And um, as well as my colleagues, we all share the same common interest. It is the interest of our town to serve our, our residents in the best way possible. And, you know, you know, we're all with each other. We support each other's decisions when it comes to making sure that the right thing is done. So we're here um, all the way to the end to make sure that, you know, our mayor and, and my colleagues are all, you know, we're all working for the same common purpose for the town. Thank you. Yes, how you doing? Uh, all we need to do, is, uh, is all to do the best for the town of the West New York. That's all we want. Thank you. I'm trying to conduct myself the most tranquil way that I can because I'm very, very upset with them. Extremely upset. <laughs> At this time, I, as the mayor of West New York, with my board of commissioners and the town people are asking me to do the honorable thing and step down right now.
Mr. Kelly, what is your answer to me, sir? Mayor, if you'd like to make a statement, I'm asking Mr. I'm not talking to you, Mr. Cobb. You're not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Whether I'm here or not, whether I'm here or not, who 
are the who are the two members that are appointed to this? You see this lady right here, Mr. Stelly? My hat's no, off to you, no, no. My hat's off to you. If I can get three more like that, this power will be on its way. The history should be in the future. The You're hindering West New York. You're not supporting West New York. Stop that! Stop that! After a long break, the board reconvened and things grew even more heated when they opened the floor to public comments. And board president Cosmo Cirillo declared, I've worked for this board for four years and I am not stepping down. Jillian Risberg, Hudson County TV.